we're in the mechanical room now, Rob. Yeah. And we're going to install a Wiesman Vito Dens. 100. 100. Yeah. Wiesman was one of the first to come out with a wall-hung boiler. We've had it out for a number of years, and uh, we've, we've made a lot of modifications to it, and, and uh, we've got a really good product. Uh, titanium stainless steel heat exchanger, okay. fully condensing, fully modulating. It's a condensing boiler that, uh, that does what it says it's going to do, and the heat exchanger has got a lifetime warranty to the uh, residential customer. The quietness of the boiler just, uh, it's really outstanding. Now you mentioned modulating condensing that I'm familiar with, but mm -hmm. the viewers may not be. Maybe you can explain that a little bit more so they can understand what we're talking about. Well, a modulating boiler, uh, it modulates to whatever temperature is desired. So if you have a regular uh, appliance and it's say 90,000 BTUs and it kicks in every time and it fires at 90,000 BTUs, a modulating boiler will kick in a lot lower and modulate to whatever, based on the time it's running, it'll modulate to whatever temperature you need. So it fluctuates on the BTUs, so you're not burning full capacity all the time. So, so if the house requires 40,000 BTUs, the boiler will run at 40,000 right. BTUs. Right. If it needs 90, it'll run at 90. Correct. Right. We're yeah. not, with the house requiring 40, we're not running You're not on bringing 100. on 100 or 90,000 BTUs to satisfy a 40 load. And that's where we're getting a lot of the efficiencies. Right. By applying the, the BTUs appropriately to the, the heat loss of the structure. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, condensing. Yeah. Condensing that, that water is coming out of the bottom of the unit. Right. Right. What is that water? And what's, what's so important about that term? Well, the condensing, the part of the water is from the gas fume. There's a lot of moisture in gas. Right. And normally on a regular appliance, they just fire once and then they let the heat go up the, the, uh, the stack or chimney. And it can be as high as 250, 300 degrees or, or more, depending on the size of the appliance. With a condensing boiler, you're keeping the heat in the boiler longer, so the temperature, the fluid gas temperatures exit a lot uh, lower, so you're exiting out the wall at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 250 or 300 degrees. So you're keeping the heat in the boiler longer, keeping it and condensing it down. As it cools down, you get that condensate dripping off the heat exchanger down into the condensate. So you're so, keeping the heat in the appliance and in the home longer and using it more efficiently. So when the, the Wiesman Vito Dents is condensing, Mm -hmm. What type of efficiency are we you're going to looking, expect? Well, you're looking anywhere between 92 and 95 percent, depending on the temperature, the outdoor temperature, and, right. and where so you're at. Some variables. So, yeah. so if we were at 95 percent, so if right. I spent one dollar for some fuel, yeah, I would get 95 cents exactly out of that, out of that boiler. Exactly. The conventional <laughs> boilers, their efficiencies are anywhere from 65 to 75 percent so if you're for every dollar you feed that boiler you might get I'm getting 75 cents back. exactly well that, exactly. that's a big difference it's that's huge, 20 cents yeah yeah 20 cents at every dollar every dollar right so yeah. if i see that condensate running down the line it's a good thing that's a good thing yeah okay because yeah, i've heard it trickling yep and uh in fact if, if the boiler's not condensating it's not not working properly right. so if i don't see it then if you I, don't see it you gotta you should be concerned i should be concerned yeah. that i'm not getting the efficiency out right of the, out the of more the, the more the more condensate the more efficiency Okay, yeah. that's excellent. Um, when I go into domestic hot water, mm -hmm. what sort of efficiencies am I going to expect then? Will it be the same? A little bit less, a little bit less because you're peaking up to a higher, higher uh, temperature. So you're firing at a higher temperature to bring the tank up to temperature faster. So are we down to 70%? Are we down oh, no, to no, you're still, you're still up around the 90% right now. 90%? Yeah. yeah. And what's a, a traditional tank type water heater, power vent water heater efficiency? It's again, 60, 65%. So we've increased our domestic hot yeah. water efficiency by at least another 20%. Correct. And with the fuel costs today. Yeah, it's important. It's very yeah. important. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Well, that's great, Rob. That's uh, great information. I'm glad you could make it out today. Good. Uh, when we get the system installed and ready to commission, we'll invite you back out. Oh, looking we, forward to we it. We can commission together. Good stuff. Thank you, Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Peter.